Oh, what a tangled web we weave when we practice to deceive. Greetings and blessings. I see where people are saying that Andrewness is exonerated. I ask, exonerated from what? That doesn't change public views that he is alleged to be a corrupt man. I will read this section of the report. Let it come up a minute. Yeah, it says here, according to the Director of Corruption Prosecution, though sufficient evidence has been identified to mount charges for the noted offenses, the prosecution would be hard pressed to resist an abuse of process application with regard to undue delay. Yeah? Undue delay. <clears throat> what does that mean? Yeah? What it means to me is that it took so long, approximately 17 years, the statute of limitation um, is exceeded. Therefore, if you seek to bring any charges now, defense attorney will argue that um, <clears throat> it is an abuse of process, you know, as time has passed. But in my opinion, there is no statute or no statute limits on acts of corruption. Could it be that threats were made on the Integrity Commission? I have to wonder, as this made absolutely no sense, no sense whatsoever. I am just not understanding any of this. It seems to be a cooked up report and they didn't remember to change the date. Let me see if I can, um, find this yep yeah the integ integrity commission yeah tweeted this yep and it said there is an error in the second line of the first paragraph of the attached cover letter to the Honorable Speaker and the Honorable President, dated today, February 16th. Monday, January 12th, 2023, should read uh, February. February 13, 2023. Why am I there? I think I messed up this. Yep. So, who made that mistake? Yep. Anyway, I am now of the opinion that the Integrity Commission should be resigned or be dismantled, you know? And they have a lot of explanations to do. Is corruption in the Integrity Commission, yeah? Is Greg Kisti gonna be the next director of public prosecutions? I don't know. This is what we call swift justice, yeah? And 
I have to reiterate that it is questionable that a review on a 107 page was done so swiftly for it to be taken as accurately and objectively done. Yeah? The fact that whoever did, whoever did this report, right? And publish it, right? Forgot to have changed the date. Yeah? And it questions its authenticity, its accuracy, and its objectivity. Yep. It seems like it was a pre done report for someone else that was quickly edited and published. If this was done from January, why was the 107 page published? before this, that so-called exonerate, Angel. Yeah? It is very difficult for the nation to believe that this report was done from January. And I am recommending that a forensic examination be done on the computer from which the report was generated. Also, a judicial review, review, I said, my bad, review should be requested by the legal team of the PNP. Yep. At this time, the nation is appalled by what can be assumed to be corruption within the agency that was set up to investigate and bring charges against persons who commit corruption, yeah? And as such, the nation has lost trust and credibility in the persons who hold senior positions at the Integrity Commission and their immediate resignation should be tendered to return some semblance of trust in that agency. That's how I see it. Blessings.